Hello, my name is Brian Morales. I'm the Vice Chair of Communications for the National Small Business Association, the NSBA. The NSBA is a nonpartisan, member-driven, with 65,000 members in every state and industry. We've been around since 1937 and are the longest-running small business advocacy group in the nation. We wanted to reach out early in the new year and to share with you some of our what we have in store for 2022. You're going to hear from NSBA leadership about our vision and goals for this year, as well as some highlights that we have from the organization from this previous year, 2021. And while we may not be as far removed as from the pandemic as we'd like to be, we want to celebrate our community's perseverance, your perseverance. As small business owners, we all know that life can throw us a curveball and that the hill you're climbing can be shorter and in some cases longer than it may have seemed initially. But we also know that when the challenge looms large, we buckle down and meet the challenge head on. Thank you for your support as it has enabled us with everything we've done. And we're grateful to every small business who's hung in there with us this past year and beyond. Hello, my name is Todd McCracken and I'm lucky enough to have led the National Small Business Association as your president and CEO for the last 25 years. It's been uh, quite a journey uh, and I got to say the last couple of years have been some of the most interesting of those times. Uh, as we move forward into 2022 uh, more deeply, I wanted to come back to you with uh, my part of this message to the membership um, and a message really for me of optimism and, and of real hope. Uh, the last two years have been difficult, but we've had real victories and have watched up close and personal the resilience, the ingenuity, and the, and the real hard-headedness of small businesses uh, uh, determined to survive and to regroup during this period of time has been inspiring uh, in many ways. Well, I know some companies haven't made it through, some have faced really difficult choices, um, to see the way that most companies have handled this is, uh, is what makes the small business community great and the small business community, I think, is what makes this country great. Uh, so uh, I found real inspiration in that. Uh, and it makes me hearken back to our founding uh, by DeWitt McKinley Emory in 1937. Uh, he formed the National Small Business Association, a group of 200 small business owners, uh, at a time of, of great uh, difficulty in our nation during the Great Depression. And uh, so uh, uh, the times we face while difficult are nothing like those. So I'm confident we'll move forward uh, in a very strong way. And part of that is our, is our uh, leadership. And following in that original tradition, uh, we have a tremendous group of small business leaders who just came out of, a, of our National Board of Trustees meeting last week where we look forward to 2022 and uh, made some real plans for how we're going to move forward, how we're going to educate the membership, uh, and how we educate the country about the needs of the small business community. Uh, it really is the membership and the small business community that makes it all happen. If uh, our, the members of Congress and us and the association will don't hear from you, the real members, about what your needs are uh, and how you can engage, uh, then, uh, then we won't be able to do our jobs properly, and they won't either. So I really encourage everyone to uh, uh, not uh, not be a passenger on this uh, on this journey, but to be a real participant in, in how we make our decisions and make our voices heard. Um, our leader this year is 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 going to be a great one, uh, Mike Stanick, who I've known for years, is stepping into the role of our board chair uh, this year. And uh, Mike is a tremendous entrepreneur who has deep experience uh, in, in multiple parts of the, of the small business community, leading other organizations as well. And on top of all that, he is a heck of a nice guy, as you'll get to know uh, when, you, when you meet him. Hi, my name is Mike Stanick. I'm the owner of Hunt Imaging, a toner manufacturer located in Berea, Ohio. I've been involved with NSBA for 11 or 12 years now, and I'm honored to serve as the 2022 chair. In that role, I stand on the shoulders of so many capable chairs who've come before me, including most recently and laudably ML Mackey, who served in this role in 2021. ML served with grace and distinction in a year which we know was very difficult for many small businesses, and I thank her for her leadership. As we move into 2022, NSBA is a strong organization. Our membership base has never been better. Our corporate partner partnerships have never been deeper, and I look for us to continue to grow both of those areas. On our membership side, a few short years ago, we started our Leadership Council. 
that group has grown to over a thousand active members representing 93 percent of the congressional districts across the country. Those leadership council members understand the importance of connections in order to help their businesses grow and thrive and they take up that charge by having uh, virtual meetings amongst themselves on a regional basis and quite often having members of Congress as guests at those meetings. Advocacy has been at the heart of NSBA since its inception. NSBA members know the importance of advocating on a nonpartisan basis to do so with cooperation and some give and take along the way. And we had tried and will continue to set that example for the leaders of our country to see that it can be done. We don't have to be divided. We can be cooperative. We can work together and grow their small, our small businesses for the benefit of the businesses and for the benefit of our national economy as a whole. Some of the areas that we're going to be advocating on in 2022, including include the repeal of the beneficial ownership rules, which are very controversial and burdensome for many small businesses. The cost of health care, it continues to skyrocket and we need to push Congress to find a way to get those costs under control. The complexity of filing taxes, uh, quite often the complexity is more challenging than the financial burden of filing the taxes. And having a seat at the table when it comes to fairness in being able to bid on and win contracts uh, as a small business. Within our own organization, we want to continue to become more diverse, more inclusive, and we will have that as another focus in 2022. Most importantly, I want to encourage you to become more involved with NSBA. Take advantage of the number of offerings that we have. We have the Weekly Advocate, which comes to your email box uh, automatically to you. We have our issue pages and our top, top priority issues that are available on our website, as well as 38 researched issue briefs that are available for your use in making sure that you can advocate well with your representatives on behalf of your small business. Our Action Center has 49 action alerts with detailed information on each of those issues. Follow us on social media. We are at, at NSBA Advocate. Our staff has more than 100 years of experience on Capitol Hill. Take advantage of that experience, that knowledge, and use it to help your small business grow, your local economy grow, and our national economy grow. I thank you for your attention and I look forward to meeting you at some point in 2022. Thank you. 2021 for NSBA was both a challenging and a successful year. Today, I'm happy to share with you some of our key successes. Last year, NSBA members and leadership testified on both federal procurement issues and SBIR as TTR reauthorization at various congressional hearings. NSBA was instrumental in getting the Paycheck Protection Program extended beyond its initial term, ensuring loan assistance to small businesses who still needed help staying afloat during the pandemic. NSBA endorsed President Biden's nominee for U.S. Small Business Administration Administrator, Isabel Guzman, who was sworn in on March 24th. And we actively engaged on the American Rescue Plan that was signed into law to provide additional pandemic relief to small businesses, including a $28.6 billion grant program for restaurants and bars, an expansion of the PPP, an increase to the IDLE program, and much, much more. NSBA was also successful last year in getting burdensome IRS enforcement language removed from the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Speaking of which, NSBA actively supported the passing of the infrastructure bill, which includes many small business priorities and projects. In February and March, NSBA convened a virtual Small Business Congress. What had previously been a two to three day event was transformed this year into seven virtual sessions where nearly 500 members discussed, debated, and ultimately crafted NSBA's priorities. In May, our board met with Tra Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg on the infrastructure package, 
MSBA has since stayed in close contact with his staff on the new law, as well as its implementation. MSBA's pragmatic and bipartisan approach to advocacy has positioned us to be an effective sounding board for policymakers, and is something we should be particularly proud of. NSBA leadership also met with the SBA Administrator, Isabel Guzman, in May to discuss priorities and the various ways NSBA and SBA can best meet the needs of America's small businesses. And throughout 2021, we did extensive work preparing to launch new pilot programs in 2022 that will both expand our reach and our expertise. While I will absolutely miss the almost daily discussions about the path forward for our organization, I know we are in extremely capable hands. Looking forward to the year ahead with you at the helm, Mike.